it's your old friend Oxo coming back to you with the Avatar redirect. So I am glad to be back, folks. I took a couple days off just to kind of unwind uh, to kind of get ready for Red vs. Blue Season 15, which is next, this coming Monday. Um, we got a lot to accomplish today. Um, let's talk about the episode first. What a good episode. I Well, I kind of felt a little bit of a – it's like – we we uh, we got some growth out of Aang. We can can see that he's still got some childish, you know, he's could be still childish in the nature. And, but um, basically, what it boils down is to is that Katara and Aang and Zuko basically end up on this island where basically they see a ship. Well, not an island. It actually is. is I guess it's an island. But they basically come down this path, they see some water tribe stuff, they get excited, thinking maybe it was another water tribe, but it happened to be their water tribe. So, and they see a ship, and they see a family friend that, I guess, traveled with their dad, and they start talking about things. So, Aang, at that point, starts to get, feeling like he's getting left out, which I can understand. Aang doesn't really feel like he has any family, he, even though we've kind of gone over this a little bit, I mean, Aang should realize by now that Katara and so Sokka um, really, really care about him. And they don't, they're never going to try to, you know, leave him be. And so, he should kind of be getting that by now, but I, I guess that's part of the story is to understand that you got to have trust in one another, and that's the main underlying tone is just trusting your friends, you know, that you're with. <clears throat> Which is always a great story, you know, trust and the people that you can trust, you know, but trust is a very fickle thing at times, too, because you could put trust in somebody and then, like Aang did, kind of trade that trust a little bit. You know, he was getting jealous, he was feeling left out, and so they, he basically found got a map that showed exactly where their, their dad was, but he decided, you know, keep it secret, hide it. Um, while this is going on, uh, this lady who's very tough, who I think during the episode, that sounded like the, uh, I forget what her name is. God, you guys are going to tell me. Um, but I, I think that voice sounds so familiar. Let me know in the comments. I just can't remember off the top of my head who it is. I, I just, I don't know what other stuff she plays. So let me know in the comments. I'm always excited to hear who that is. I'm once you tell me, I'm going to go, oh, yes, that's it. <clears throat> but I do recognize the voice. Um, so we meet this this woman that's basically writing this this creature that can pick up a uh, scent over, mat, you know, over large distances. Um, and it's basically tracking this stowaway that's on Suko's ship. Not Suko. Uh, yeah, is it Suko? I keep on getting <laughs> Katara's brother and him you know, confused sometimes. Uh, anyway, they made on the, they get to the ship, they found a stowaway, and then he basically come he comes up to this bar and says, "Hey, I have a, you know you're gonna pay for my ship, and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna pay for my ship." Um, and so it basically boils down to they basically get to. <sighs> That they're gonna search for Katara with with the necklace. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, so they meet the, they get, they start to do that, and they actually go to different areas. Like they have the cat. They meet the lady with the cat again. They go to the fortune teller that we just saw. Not, you know, I think last episode, um, or the episode before that. Yeah, I think it was last episode. Um, and then they go to. They, they meet, they go to the village with all the, so they bust open the door, which is so funny. They bust open the door, they start smelling it, and like, during this time, you know, while they're searching, you know, this uh, Bol Boto is, I think that's how you put it, is telling them stories about what they did, you know, her, him and his father, and things like that. Are, they're telling stories, and I'm like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. So, I was really excited to see what they were going to do with that, but like I said, Aang got, felt laughed out. He was, he, I guess they didn't like the stew at all. 
And so they get slept out, and they get to they get to the island, and well, it gets out to sea, and they're gonna go iceberg dodging. So when well, there's no ice, there's rocks. So basically, Suko takes over, and he basically steers the ship, you know, telling them what to do. And that was actually kind of cool. I like that rite of passage. It's very well done. Suko is definitely growing, um, and he, I mean. <laughs> He's definitely being he he's been he's definitely getting to the point where he, I think he's going to be a more integral part of the story now. I don't yeah he is the kind of comedy relief. Of, well, all of them kind of are. Well, not Katara so much, but more Aang and um, so Sokka, Sokka and Suko. God, they sound sound the same. And it's just basically. <laughs> They they try to you know I like that how they still have comedic timing and they, and it was really funny when they got to the village he asked for food immediately, um, so they basically he basically says I can't be trusted shows on the map they decide to go see their their dad with this guy and basically you know Ang is basically fixing to travel to the North Pole by himself you know that's what he believes. And while all this time, this creature comes in, like I said, and basically goes after Katara and her brother. They they get caught. You know, the thing paralyzes them because his tongue is paralytic. And that's actually kind of interesting too. And so uh, he gets Ang gets told by one of the nuns to come back to the village, and they get drugged back to the village. And then basically this fight. Develops. So, what a great idea to use the perfumes to nose blind this creature, and he basically takes off. Oh, Appa in this episode, that is my creature. That is, I guess, I've said this multiple times. He is my spirit animal. I love this dude. Uh, <laughs> I believe he would be the most comfy pillow in the world. He would just be able to sleep like a like a baby on 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 this on this creature. So, I, I he's definitely my spirit animal. Appa. Showed that he is tough. He's resilient. Um, he had to be hit like three, like I think four times that thing hit him, uh, four or five maybe, um, and he didn't go down until then. So um, they get the idea to use the perfume to blind it. Uh, Aang is basically trying to def more of a defensive kind of fighter, as we've all, as we kind of know by now, he is a defensive fighter. He doesn't like fighting, like offensively unless he really really has to um but he's he's kind of keeping these wind currents and uh keeping suko at bay and he gets in the well he basically gets the the amulet that goes around guitar set we'll see if that stays <laughs> we'll see we'll see because <laughs> the last one didn't uh but yeah so uh, she got he got her necklace back and basically they get uh, the, the nose blind creature basically hits all of them except for the bigger uh, his uncle and <laughs> they get knocked down and hits the woman hits uh, Sugo and they get knocked down to the ground and they're all paralyzed <laughs> the woman lands right on the uncle and uh, he's like and Suko's like, I don't think you got paralyzed. You think it hit? And he's like, no, don't tell anybody. Beautiful woman on my side right now. He's <laughs> such a perv. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but yeah, that was a really good, interesting story. I, I feel like that might that might have been a little bit repetitive because we, like I said, the only thing I have bugged me a little bit, like I said, is Aang should know by now is that the the two of them care about him. They're not gonna leave him. He shouldn't feel alone in this matter he they've been with him so long now at this point it's all kosher so we only got five more episodes of this this seat this uh book so i'm excited to see how this uh this book ends and then we'll get to the next book uh later on in the next uh couple weeks so yeah we got like ugh, five more weeks because yeah five more weeks wow this is hmm uh, once we get done with Red vs. Blue, Avatar is going to take a precedent. Um, we'll probably do it. We'll probably do like a Avatar, and it seemed like that the Star Wars seemed like it was winning. I will check it again. I believe that the Star Wars was the one that won my poll the other day. 
Um, so we'll probably get into Star Wars on Friday. So we'll, we'll put Avatar as our main front and then Star Wars right after that. Um, I appreciate all the suggestions and feedback that I constantly get. I tell you guys and gals that all the time. I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart appreciate all the feedback that I get. It, it helps me develop. It helps me grow as a, uh, a content creator. I'm always trying to innovate to try to do new things, and I always appreciate the support that I get from my main subscribers that are always commenting or always you know, there for me. You guys and gals that are always watching my stuff that come back every single day or week, whatever it is, you guys mean the world to me. So thank you so much for doing what you do. Uh, it just bolsters my, you know, bolsters me a little bit. It helps me out. Um, I also made some uh, questions about Patreon. I may start trying that a little bit. I got to get to a point where I, I got to get ahead of things. So I might take like a day off when I get a day off again. Um, I might actually do two reactions, like have like a reaction and have my next week's reaction already ready. Already ready. <laughs> anyway, have it ready for the following week and then put it on Patreon as an earlier access. So if anyone wants to access it, I'm, I I might charge a dollar. You know, that's probably about the extent of it. So it's going to be a dollar, you know, if you guys want to watch it early. So we're going to probably start doing that a little bit more. Um, more often, we'll probably do that with uh, most of my bigger stuff like Avatar, uh, Star Wars. That's going to be the primary stuff. Red versus Blue and stuff like that come out so fast. It, I don't feel like I need to do that for that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> saying the same words over and over again. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm ex excited to get that taken care of. So if you guys and gals want to support me in that manner, I surely appreciate the ones that are already supporting me. But I'm going to definitely get to that point where I get more stuff on my Patreon, where it feels like, you know, you're getting your money's worth that, you know, for the folks that are there already, and that you're getting, you know, content there uh, for the new people that jump into that, that want to support me even further. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so if you like the video on my Google Drive, I appreciate all the comments in here, all the thumbs up, all the love is always appreciated on this one. Tomorrow, I don't know if anyone's noticed. I hope you have. I am planning on doing a live reaction for the last episode of Ruby. I'm excited to see how the, the season ends. It's sad that it does have to end, but here's what we're going to do. So we're going to do Ruby, and then what I'm going to do is actually continue. So it's going to be a little bit of longer um, live stream. So we're going to do Ruby, and we're actually going to do Genlock. We're going to do Genlock live. So I'm super excited to do this. Um, on all my live stuff from now on, there will be a, uh, a, a donation. If you want to help me in any sense of the matter, I mean, if it's a dollar, if it's 50 cents, I don't care. I mean, if you don't, if you just want to sit back and enjoy it, that's fine. But all there will be a donation tab if you want to support me a little bit more than that. So that helps me out a ton, especially with how things are at the moment. So. It's all appreciated. It all goes to help me, you know, get to a point where I can maybe do this all the time. <laughs> Folks, again, thank you. I will we'll see you tomorrow for my live reaction. It will probably be an evening, so keep an eye on what time it's going to come out. I have it planned for, I think, 6, as I got it scheduled for 5 or 6. But it may change depending on things that night. So hopefully I don't go any later than that. So just plan on around about 5 or 6 uh, on Saturday. Um, if, if there's any changes, it will come up as a change on the timer. So just be looking over the timer. I don't foresee any issues with blockage. But if we do run into that problem, if you guys see a black screen or if something comes up, whatever the case may be, let me know. We'll just move it over to Twitch and just continue right where we left off. So. Again, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye. -um. A special thank you to all my patrons. Thank you so much for your support.